Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien and welcome to the Snow Report presented by Ski Magazine where we talk skiing, snowboarding, gear, beer and every episode is a guaranteed good time. Let's kick off this week's show with some cuteness. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you are. Get ready. Here we go. Meet Alligator, the newest member of the Snowbird Ski Patrol. Oh my goodness, just look at this little puppy. Ah. Gator is just 10 weeks old and training to become one of Snowbird's finest patrollers. Look at him. You know it's like he's already done something wrong. You know that he's already stolen the last donut in the patrol shack. <laughs> Gator. Now, if your pet is a snow lover like Gator, I would love to see your photos and you should join our Facebook page. It's called The Snow Reporters. So head over there, join us, and post your photos so I could just waste my entire day looking at them. Okay. Ski season is hitting its stride and quite a few resorts are open already so far. Plus we've got some snow in the forecast, but first, take a look at all this. You've got Mammoth Mountain in California open, Copper Mountain, Breckenridge, and Vail all open in Colorado. Sugarloaf in Maine kicked off their season. Look at that corduroy. I mean, oh my goodness, I just... Yes. We've got some action in the Midwest as well. Perfect North Slopes in Indiana kicked off their season, and they're even skiing and riding in New Jersey. That's right, Mountain Creek celebrated its earliest opening day ever. Congratulations, guys. And in Vermont, they tell me Mount Snow is open, and uh, I still don't know what that means, because what's a Mount Snow? Yep, see, this guy was there, and he doesn't know either. No idea. All good stuff, and we've got snow in the forecast, so let's check in with open snow. It's been a quiet month for much of the western U.S., but not for northern New England. It was a powder party last week, as up to 21 inches was reported at Jay Peak. Coming up, the Rockies will get back in on the action, with the first storm arriving November 22nd, followed by an even better looking storm track as we head into the week of Thanksgiving. As always, you can head over to opensnow.com or download their app to make sure you keep tabs on your favorite resorts. A couple of days ago, I was, you know, perusing the gram, as you do, and I came across this post from Winter Park, and I cracked up for no real reason. <laughs> I mean, it's funny to see a giant burrito toasting the world with another small burrito. Like, <laughs> Upon further investigation, I found out Winter Park was hosting a contest to name their $5 pass holder breakfast burrito. The person that names the burrito and gets chosen as the winner gets free breakfast burritos for the entire season. This is a very special show because Winter Park has chosen us, the Snow Report, to reveal the winner. I know, are you on the edge of your seat? I am. But first, we have to reveal some of the runners up. The burrito names that were in close contention in no particular order are Winter Pork. <laughs> How didn't that win? Seize the Cheese Burrito, that's good, admirable. Drunken Brunchman. <laughs> if that's not the name of the burrito, that's the name of my future breakfast joint, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> Ready? Pow Pockets. And now, for the moment you didn't know you were waiting for until right now, the winner is... The Five Buck Huck. Yeah! Yes, it's good, it's catchy, and it wins, so... Keep your opinions in the comments, please. Congratulations, Ryan Mountford, on a season full of soft flour tortillas, scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, hash browns, sausage, and a touch of green chili. All right, well, that's all we've got for you this week. If you like this show, click that like button, share it around to a friend who will like it too, and in the comments below, let me know what your favorite breakfast is when skiing. When skiing powder and when skiing rumors. Does it change? I don't know. Let me know. I'm Hallie O'Brien, this is The Snow Report Show. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Winter pork. <laughs> Should that be a t-shirt? Should any of these names be on a t-shirt? Let me know. And who knows, maybe we'll bring the What's a Mount Snow shirt back. If all of these things sound good to you, let me know in the comments. Thanks for sticking around for the bloopers. You guys are ride or die. <laughs>